Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to uh, install your thread for the brothers or mainly it's uh, similar to all other uh, electric uh, sewing machine. This is the model number EX660 computer because uh, they allow you to have a uh, 59 stitching uh, patterns okay and uh, this model they also come with the uh, different uh, types of uh, feet this is called the feet right here so and i'm going to show you guys on how to make a spool of this uh, button and then also how to hook up everything for the whole setup so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, real quick. So as you see, I only have a little bit of uh, red spool of uh, threading on this one. So I'm just going to add some more to here. But, uh, so you're going to go ahead and uh, mount this on the top right here. And then you want to pull the string out from your spool. So right here is the tricky part, okay? Let me uh, move the camera real quick so I can show you guys. So as you can see, you need to pull the string from here, okay? Make sure it doesn't get snagged or anything like that. And then... Uh, once you pull up from there, you need to loop it like that, okay? So you need to loop this over here. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to follow this right here. And then you're going to loop to the spool, the small one. Then you wanna push this spool toward this uh, wheel right there. Okay, just like that. And then uh, you're going to put the thread just like that gonna loop it into that gap right there all right and then you'll cut the thread for you so you're going to go ahead and uh, power on. Sometimes I have to put it upside down because sometimes the thread gets caught. So you're going to press your paddle and then uh, start uh, spinning the spool. Alright, so it automatically goes uh, up and down and everything for you. So all the thread doesn't just uh, stay on the bottom or stay on the top. Okay. And then the uh, next thing I'm going to show you guys on how to uh, loop the whole thing and do the whole setup. Alright, so let's go ahead and then uh, cut this off. And then to take it out, you're going to push it to the left, and then that's it.
All right, so I'm going to show you guys real quick, okay? You're going to pull the string from here. And then uh, you're going to loop it like that. Make sure that you loop into that little uh, triangle uh, spring. Of the metal wire right there, okay? Yeah, that little triangle right there. Make sure you loop it in there. So that's the first step. And then the second step, after you loop it from here, you're going to pull it down there. This is second step right here. And then the third step is to loop like a U shape right here. Make sure it's inside that hook, okay? And then the fourth step, right here. Make sure you turn this uh, wheel so the metal piece is all goes uh, to the top. Yeah, make sure you look at that metal piece. It's at the very top. Then you stop. But you gotta make sure you Put the threading and then loop it inside there, okay? And then you're gonna go down. And then this is the fifth place right here. You're gonna loop that thread into this uh, metal. And then I'm gonna teach you on how to uh, do this uh, self threading to your needle. And also I'm going to show you guys uh, how to uh, interlock together with this uh, bobbin. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, pull this thing out. Make sure you loop under here. And then uh, hook up to the triangle. You see the springs moving. And then you're going to drag the line down there and then uh, make sure it's inside the hook give it a little push and then that's it make sure your line is not snug it is uh, loose to pull and then you're gonna go into that loop right there There you go. And then you're going to go down here. You're going to loop into that uh, the chrome plate right there. Or the bar. Make sure you go in from the right to left. Alright, so now I got my two hands so easier now. So you got to hook it to there. All right, just like that. So just uh, leave this out for now, and then uh, we need to install the this uh, spool right here. Make sure it's in this uh, orientation. Okay. The threads on top instead of the thread on the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to install this on the bottom right here. Just uh, drop it in there. And then uh, make sure you loop this uh, into this uh, line right there. The thread. Like that. And now you can put the cover back. I 
I need to uh, do the self threading first. Be sure the needle is all the way up, okay? You gotta adjust the wheel. Alright, it's all the way up now. At the highest uh, position. You're gonna root the thread onto the top of that hump. And then uh, hook it right there, okay? Just like that. And you're gonna press this all the way down and then try to push the threading between that gap and it's going to automatic uh, self-threading to that needle. Gonna do a couple try. There you go, it loop in there now. So now I could take out the thread. Now you see the threads inside the needle now, okay? This needle has a hole. Okay, so now we're going to uh, turn the this uh, wheel counterclockwise until the needle goes down and then up. It's going to pull this uh, bottom uh, thread so it can interlock uh, together. So make sure your feet is down, okay? If it's not, you're going to press it down. So just watch the needle, be sure you keep on continuous uh, turning the wheel counterclockwise. You gotta make sure your thread is long enough or else you're gonna go through. Go down and then go up. Okay, and then once your needle is at the highest position, you wanna lift up the feet, tuck the top threading and you see the loop and then you're gonna pull it out so now your uh, top and bottom are interlocked together now okay so now is the tricky part be sure to pull out the bottom and out the feet and then the top one the top thread you need to loop it into that feet, this feet right there, and then just drag it to the back. And then now you can uh, put your fabric in there, put your feet down, and then uh, start sewing. Okay? And then this is uh, to go back and then sew. If you need to go back and forth, just uh, give a push and then press the paddle, then it's gonna go backward. This is the to change the speed. This is the slowest, medium, and then fast, fastest. And then uh, right here, you could adjust the pattern right here. Up. This is a tenth uh, digit or single digit. And as you see, your tells you right now it's a J. J uh, feet. If you change it to a different one, they might ask you to change a different uh, feet. See right there. And then this is for the. This is uh, to adjust the threading, the tension. It should be ranged from uh, three to five. Unless you need to change it differently, there's a zero all the way to uh, nine. So this one is the top section, and to adjust the bottom, this one is uh, right here.
Well, hopefully uh, this will help you guys uh, easier and then understand this uh, sewing machine on how to threading the top section and then also on the bottom section and then how to interlock them. If you don't interlock them, once you uh, start sewing, it's not going to sew anything together. Okay, so I had to learn the hard way. And then here's the thread cutter right here. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.